Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back again to Frontliner Podcast. So ladies and gentlemen, it is not going to be business as usual for the president and second in command in the Republic of Kenya at this time that Kenya is on a crisis against Riyad Gashagwa impeachment and other politicians, especially at the National Assembly, who debated and voted prematurely without looking for the evidence to prove that this and this are the reason why we debated towards Riyad Gashagwa impeachment. Welcome back to Frontliner Podcast. And before we continue, kindly take a second, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for that like. So Kenyans, this week is going to be a very, very busy week and a challenging week and a tough week because the Gen Z's have already uh, bring their calendar and how they are going to protest this week. And this week is the same week that the case of Riyad Gashagwa is being heard in the Senate by the senators after they were given seven days to do their discussion so that they can come up with a final result towards Rigadi Gashagwa impeachment. So, yesterday, on Monday, Chief Justice, that is Martha Kome, uh, appointed, and bench of, appointed a bench of three judges who will hear and determine the petition filed by the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, even as his impeachment fate is said to be discussed and determined before the Senate plenaries on Wednesday and Thursday this week. And the people that are, that are going to hear and judge the case of uh, Rigad Yashagwa are Eric Ogola, Anthony, Anthony Mrima, Frida Mugambi to hear the petition filed by the Deputy President Rigad Yashagwa and render the, the, the decision, sorry, the, the decision after they have done the investigation and come up with the final result that this and this is going to happen to the deputy president of the Republic of India. Because yesterday I saw some of the boxes, evidences of Riyadh Gashagwa being taken to the Senate so that these judges that was, was appointed by Martha Kome Chief Justice to discuss and go, uh, uh, go step by step to listen to them. And beside that one, ladies and gentlemen, there is a big blow to William Samoy Ruto as the Gen Z announced a mega demonstration from today till Sunday and their causes have been revealed towards their uh, protest. And allow me to read for you what they have uh, come up with or their uh, agenda towards the uh, mega demonstration that they have announced. Demonstrations are happening every day across the country, as you know, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on, this, on, sorry, on this demonstration happening due to certain factors associated and connected with the high cost of living, that is number one, corruption, poor leadership, heavy taxation, inadequate job opportunities to the hustler people in the Republic of Kenya, new funding model, at the university student and among others that is happening in the Republic of Kenya. So, according to the latest news report by the Reliable Source through the Facebook social media platform, members of the Gen Z's have produced a calendar for mega demonstrations starting from today in our analysis from Frontliner Bodkans is that poster blaming the government for not taking action by providing justice to the families of Kenya who died during the anti-government protest few months ago. The Gen Z's were supposed to assemble to the nearest morgue to mourn their colleagues who died during anti-government protest few days ago or few months ago. And as I'm talking to you right now, some of them are still missing up to now. And some of them are still uh, are being found but are being found dead. So we don't know what is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Things are not yet good in the Republic of Kenya according to what is happening or according to what happened during the anti-government protest against the finance bill of 2024. After members of parliament, these MPs, betrayed the people of Kenya after voting yes 
Then William Samuto came later on and declined the finance bill of 2024-2025 after several Kenyans have been killed. A lot of them have been injured. A lot of them have been abducted. So I don't know the decision that William Samuto made after our heroes, the people who are fighting for the rights of the young generation or for the right for the future generation have been killed. So the Gen Z was supposed to assemble at the nearest morgue to mourn their colleagues who died during the anti-government protest few days ago. So right now, William Samuto cannot even, cannot even flew out of the country. According to what is happening in the Republic of Kenya, as the Gen Z's have promised to demonstrate on this week, and also this week is the same week that regarding the Shagwa impeachment motion is going to be finalized. I think it will be on Thursday or Friday. So begin with this channel because I'll be updating you on what will be happening at the Senate when the senators will be discussing the impeachment against Rigadi Gashagwa. And there is a case right now between court and the National Assembly after Moses Wasika Wetangula debated or chaired the debate prematurely and make sure that members of parliament impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. And that one really show us that members of parliament was bribed by William Samoyedo to make sure that he succeed to impeach his deputy president regarding Yashaga because this issue started after the year tour from Nyanza region, moment after William Samoyeruto nominated some of the leaders from the opposition, uh, opposition to come and help him to run his government. After they finished nominating those uh, four years from the opposition leader and other years that was re-elected, they went, uh, had the year tour, so they start touring uh, Kenya and they started with the Nyanza region. So, moment when they came up from the Nyanza region, that is uh, where these cases started, all these scandals started between Riyadh Gashagwa and his boss, William Samoy Ruto. So, we are extending out our condolences to the family and the friends of the deceased who died on the prostate protest and wishing their soul to rest in peace. People like Rex, I can remember Rex, people like Evans Kiratu and many others who lost their life when they were fighting for this nation. So today, Tuesday, 15th October, follow up with the relevant government authorities on killings and disappearance. I'm just reading to you what they wrote on the uh, X Twitter. Wednesday, 16 October, media freedom support gather at media house near you. Near you, you will gather near uh, any media house that you uh, you can reach. On Thursday, 17th October, court cases to demand the arrest of the killers, the rogue police officers who kill the innocent people during the anti-government protest. On Friday, 18th October, tree planting in honor of the fallen comrades. 19th Saturday. October, justice for peace for Baraza everywhere in the country, be it Siaya, Kisumu, Nairobi, Kakamega, uh, Mombasa, Nakuru, Kericho, Elgeo Marakwet, Kapsabet, any, any country here in Kenya, any county will be having uh, a peaceful Baraza to discuss the challenges that they are facing. On Sunday, celebration at Oru Park that will be chaired by the activist in the Republic of India, that is Eric Omondi, will be the chief guest of that event that is going to happen on Saturday 20th during Mashuja Day that will, that will be happening, I think, on Kwale in Kwake Stadium. So when Ruto will be having his National Mashuja Day that always happen each and every year on October 20th at Kwale or any other part of the county here in Kenya, the GNZ have decided that they will be having their own celebration. They have decided to boycott William Samuto's event that will happen in Kwale so that they can join themselves and celebrate for the Lord, their beloved heroes that lost their life during the anti-government protest here in Kenya. So it is not going to be a business as usual on that day of Mashuja Day because the Gen Z have already announced their date that they will be protesting 
or they or they will be protesting from 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. Then on 20th, they will be at Oru Park. They will storm Oru Park to celebrate for their fallen heroes. Thank you so much. Be with me and may God bless you. Let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no time. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like our videos. My name is called Daniel Ochieng. Keep on supporting us by watching our videos until the end. Then don't forget to share this video and like it. And especially always remember to like and turn on the notification bell after subscription. By doing that one, you'll be showing us a great support. Thank you so much and may God be with you on this crisis that Kenya are passing on. Thank you so much.